Section 20 of Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties by Janet Mackenzie Hill. Lobster and Other Sea Fish. And ate a lobster and sang, and mighty merry. Peep's Diary. Take every creature in of every kind. Pope. Buttered Lobster. Pick the meat from a boiled lobster and cut it into small pieces. Sift over it the coral. Mix with it also the liver, two tablespoonfuls of vinegar or three of lemon juice, one-third a cup of butter and one-fourth a teaspoonful each of cayenne and made mustard. Heat in the blazer until thoroughly hot. Serve on cup-shaped leaves of lettuce with a quarter of a hard-boiled egg on the top of each portion. Lobster a la Newburgh. Ingredients. Meat of two medium-sized lobsters, four tablespoons of butter, one-half a teaspoonful of salt, one-quarter a teaspoonful of pepper, two tablespoonfuls each of sherry wine and brandy, grating of nutmeg, yolks of four eggs, one cup of cream. Remove the meat from the shells and cut into delicate slices. Put the butter in the blazer, and when it melts, put the lobster into it, and cook four or five minutes. Add the salt, pepper, nutmeg, wine, and brandy. Stir the cream into the beaten yolks, and then stir both into the lobster mixture. Serve as soon as the eggs thicken the sauce. Plain Lobster Pour three tablespoonfuls of lemon juice over the meat of one lobster, and season with salt and pepper. Put three tablespoonfuls of butter in the blazer, and when it is melted, add the prepared lobster. Stir until hot, and serve at once. Clams a la Newburgh Use one quart of clams. Separate the hard from the soft parts of the clams. Chop the hard parts fine. Substitute the soft and the chopped parts of the clams for the lobster, and proceed as for lobster a la Newburgh. Oyster, chicken, turkey, or sweetbread a la Newburgh may be prepared by substituting one of the above ingredients for the lobster. Lobster a la Bordelaise. Ingredients. Two cloves of garlic, chopped. One sliced carrot. Two tablespoonfuls of butter. Two glasses of white wine, half a cup. Meat of two lobsters. One glass of brandy. Three tablespoonfuls of butter. Chopped parsley, white and cayenne pepper. Salt. Method. Melt the butter in the blazer, and in it cook the onion and carrot about five minutes. Remove the carrot, add the wine, lobster, and seasonings. When thoroughly heated, add the butter, parsley, and brandy, and serve at once. Hawaiian Lobster Curry Ada D. Wag Ingredients One and a half tablespoonfuls of butter Half an onion, chopped One clove of garlic, very fine A small piece of grated ginger root one and a half tablespoonfuls of cornstarch, one and a half tablespoonfuls of curry powder, one pint of milk, one grated coconut, meat of a lobster weighing two pounds, salt and pepper to taste. Method. Grate the coconut and set it aside to soak an hour in one pint of milk. Saute the onion and garlic in the butter, add the cornstarch and seasonings, and cook until frothy. Add the milk strained from the coconut gradually, and when the sauce boils up once, add the lobster salt and pepper to taste lobster a la bechamel ingredients meat of two lobsters four tablespoonfuls of butter four tablespoonfuls of flour salt and pepper grating of nutmeg one cup of cream four yolks of eggs one cup of white stock seasoned with mace bay leaf etc one teaspoonful of lemon juice dried and sifted coral method Cut the lobster in delicate slices or in dice, as preferred. Make a bechamel sauce after the usual manner of the butter, flour, seasonings, cream, and stock. Add the lobster, and when heated thoroughly, add the beaten yolks mixed with a few spoonfuls of the sauce from the blazer. Add the lemon juice, and sprinkle the dried and sifted coral or some chopped parsley over the top of the mixture as it is served. Oysters, clams, sweetbread, chicken, or turkey may be served a la Bordelaise or bechamel lobster a la poulette ingredients one third a cup of butter one third a cup of flour one half a teaspoonful of salt dash of paprika one quarter a teaspoonful of white pepper one cup of cream 
one cup of well-seasoned chicken stock, juice of half a lemon, two hard-boiled eggs, one pint of diced lobster meat. Method. Prepare a white sauce using the ingredients mentioned and adding the lemon juice by degrees. Add the lobster to the sauce. Cut the whites of the hard-boiled eggs in rings and pass the yolks through a sieve. Serve the lobster on bits of toast or on thin crackers with a sprinkling of the yolks over the lobster and circles of the whites around it. Oyster Crabs a la Hollandaise Remove the meat from one pint of oyster crabs. Put this with a little of the liquor into the blazer. Add two tablespoonfuls of butter, a dash of paprika, and a scant half teaspoonful of salt, and let cook three or four minutes without boiling. Set the blazer over hot water and add three-fourths a cup of hollandaise sauce, either hot or cold. Stir until the mixture is heated, then add one tablespoonful of lemon juice and one teaspoonful of chopped parsley. Serve on toast, in Swedish timbale cases, or in patty cases. Hollandaise sauce. Put one-fourth a cup of vinegar, two tablespoonfuls of butter, a grating of nutmeg, and a dash of paprika over hot water to heat. Beat the yolks of four eggs, add the hot vinegar to them, return to the fire, and stir constantly while the mixture thickens. Then add two more tablespoonfuls of butter in bits. Shrimps, oysters, lobsters, and delicate fish are all good when served after this recipe. Deviled Crabs Melt one tablespoonful of butter, add one tablespoonful of flour, and when blended, one cup of milk. Add the yolk of two hard-boiled eggs rubbed through a sieve, and season to taste with salt, paprika, a teaspoonful of lemon juice, and wine. Cayenne, mustard, and Tabasco sauce are approved by some. Add one cup of crab meat and one-fourth a cup of canned mushrooms cut in quarters. Serve on toast. Oyster Crabs Ingredients One pint of oyster crabs, one tablespoonful of butter, half an onion sliced, one tablespoonful of flour, one cup of white stock, one teaspoonful of lemon juice, one tablespoonful of chopped parsley, one yolk of egg, salt and pepper. Method Melt the butter in the blazer, add the onion, and let cook until a light brown color. Add the flour and mix until smooth. Add the stock and stir until it thickens. Add the crab meat, lemon juice, parsley, salt, and pepper. Beat the yolk of the egg and add two or three spoonfuls of the sauce to it. Mix well, add to the ingredients in the blazer, stir constantly, and serve as soon as heated. Crabs a la Creole Ingredients one green pepper, chopped fine, one clove of garlic, chopped fine, one small onion, chopped fine, one tablespoonful of butter, one cup of tomatoes, one cup of crab meat, pepper and salt. Method. Put the butter in the blazer. When melted, add the garlic, onion, salt, pepper, and tomatoes, and let cook ten minutes. Add the crab meat, fresh or canned. Serve when hot on sippets of toast. Shrimps a la poulette. Make a sauce of one-fourth a cup each of butter and flour, half a teaspoonful of salt, a dash of pepper, and one cup and a half of white stock. Add one tablespoonful of anchovy essence and a quart of shelled shrimps. When hot, add the beaten yolks of two eggs with half a cup of cream. Lastly, add a tablespoonful of lemon juice and serve without boiling on sippets of toast. Shrimps with peas. A pint of shrimps and a cup of peas heated in a cup and a half of cream sauce are particularly good. Anchovy Toast Put about two tablespoonfuls of clarified butter into the blazer. When hot, add bread cut as for sandwiches. Brown the bread on one side, turn and brown the other side. Spread with anchovy paste and serve at once. Anchovy Toast with Eggs Prepare the anchovy toast in one chafing dish, and at the same time the eggs in another. Beat five eggs slightly, add half a teaspoonful of salt, a dash of pepper, and half a cup of cream or milk. Put a large tablespoonful of butter in the blazer. When melted, add the egg mixture. Stir until the egg is creamy and serve on the anchovy toast. Anchovy Toast with Spinach Press cooked spinach, chopped fine, through a puree sieve. Reheat with a little butter, salt, and two or three drops of Tabasco sauce. Saute rounds of bread to a golden brown in a little hot butter. 
spread with anchovy paste, and over this spread the puree of spinach. Press into the spinach on each round of bread a quarter of hard-boiled egg cut lengthwise, having the yolk uppermost. Anchovies with olives All the preparations for this dish, with the exception of sautéing the bread, may be made some hours before serving. Thoroughly wash the anchovies, cut off the fillets, and chop very fine with a sprig of parsley and a few chives, or a slice or two of Bermuda onion. Put the whole into a mortar and pound well, adding, meanwhile, a little paprika. Cut some large selected olives in halves, take out the stones, and fill them with the anchovy mixture. Cut small rounds of bread an inch and a half in diameter and an inch in thickness. Remove a crumb, similar in shape to the olive, from the center of each. Put a little butter into the blazer, and when hot, sauté the rounds of bread on both sides. Drain on soft paper, put an olive in the center of each, and a little mayonnaise over the whole. Five anchovies will suffice to stuff a dozen olives. Sardine Canapés Have ready yolks of eggs, cooked until firm, and an equal bulk of sardines, each rubbed to a paste. Mix thoroughly, and season with salt, pepper, and lemon juice. Prepare some bread in the blazer as for anchovy toast, then spread with the sardine mixture and serve at once. Curried Sardines Mix together one teaspoonful each of sugar and curry powder and a salt spoonful of salt. Put these into the blazer with one cup of cream and half a teaspoonful of lemon juice. Stir until the mixture is hot, then put into it ten or twelve sardines. In the meantime, heat some butter or oil in a second blazer, and in it sauté some bits of bread a little larger than the sardines, and round slices of tart apple. Serve each sardine on a bit of bread, pour a little of the sauce over the top, and garnish with a round of apple. The slices of apple will keep their shape if the apples be cored, and then cut into rounds without paring. Sardines. French Fashion. Remove the skins and tails from about a dozen sardines and heat them in the oven. Heat some butter or oil in the blazer of one chafing dish, and in it sauté some bits of bread of suitable shape to serve under the sardines. Put in the blazer of another chafing dish, over hot water, the well-beaten yolks of four eggs, one teaspoonful each of tarragon vinegar, cider vinegar, and made mustard, one-fourth a teaspoonful of salt, and one tablespoonful of butter. Stir the sauce until it is quite thick, then serve the sardines on the bread with the sauce poured over them. Olives are agreeable with this dish. Molded Halibut with Creamed Peas Two chafing dishes will be requisite for preparing this delicious luncheon dish. Have ready one pound of raw halibut chopped very fine. Beat the yolk of an egg, add to it one teaspoonful and a fourth of salt, one-fourth a teaspoonful of white pepper, and a few grains of cayenne or paprika. Blend a teaspoonful of cornstarch with a little milk, then add milk to make two-thirds a cup. Stir gradually into the egg and seasonings, and then very slowly into the fish. Lastly, fold into the mixture one-third a cup of thick cream, beaten until stiff. Butter dariole molds thoroughly, arrange a circle of cooked peas around the bottom of each mold, and fill with the fish preparation two-thirds full set into the blazer, surrounded with boiling water. After the water is again boiling, turn down the flame so that the water will barely quiver, and let cook about twenty minutes. Prepare, in the meantime, in the second blazer, cream peas. Turn the fish from the molds and surround with them. Creamed Peas Have ready one can of peas, drained, rinsed, covered with boiling water, and drained again. Melt two tablespoonfuls of butter, Add one tablespoonful of flour, with one tablespoonful of sugar, and half a teaspoonful of salt. Add the peas and one-third a cup of milk. Stir, and let cook until the liquid begins to bubble. Puree of Fish Scald one quart of milk with half an onion and a stalk of celery. Strain into a pitcher and keep hot if convenient. Add to the remnants of cold boiled whitefish enough canned salmon to make two cups. Chop fine and rub through a puree sieve. Cook together in the blazer two tablespoonfuls of butter, three of flour, one teaspoonful of salt, and a dash of pepper. Add the milk gradually, and when all is added and the contents of the blazer are boiling, put a few spoonfuls of the sauce into the fish and beat until smooth. 
add more sauce, and, when well diluted and smooth, turn the whole into the blazer. Stir and let cook until very hot, then serve with crackers, split, buttered, and browned in the oven. These proportions give three pints of soup. Vegetable purees may be prepared in the same way. Salt Codfish with Tomato Sauce Sauté one clove of garlic and half an onion, grated or chopped fine, in three tablespoons of butter. Add two tablespoonfuls of flour, one-fourth a teaspoonful of paprika, and one pimento, chopped fine. Also add one cup of tomato pulp, and when the sauce boils, half a pound of hatchelled codfish, or any salt codfish picked into small pieces and freshened in one quart of cold water. Serve while hot with brown bread sandwiches and pickles or pimolas. Salt Codfish in Cream Sauce Pick enough salt codfish into bits to make one cup. Let stand in cold water about half an hour. Make one cup of cream sauce using one tablespoonful and a half of flour, two tablespoonfuls of butter, and one cup of cream. Remove all the water from the fish by wringing in a cheesecloth. Add the fish to the sauce, and when heated, stir in a lightly beaten egg. Serve upon rounds of toast with olives or plain lettuce or tomato salad. Réchauffé of fish. Ingredients. One cup of cooked fish flaked. One cup of macaroni cooked and still hot. One quarter a cup of butter. One cup of tomato puree. Half a teaspoonful of salt. A dash of pepper. Eight drops of Tabasco sauce. Method. Melt the butter in the blazer and toss about in it the macaroni and fish. Add the seasonings and the tomato puree, which should be well reduced. Serve when thoroughly heated. Réchauffé of fish number two. Ingredients. One pint of cooked fish flaked and seasoned, a quarter a cup of butter, a quarter a cup of flour, one cup of fish stock, one cup of cream and milk combined, half a teaspoonful of salt if needed, one teaspoonful of anchovy paste, half a teaspoonful of paprika, two tablespoonfuls of oil, two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice, one tablespoonful of chopped parsley. Marinate the fish while hot with salt, pepper, oil, and lemon juice, adding also a few drops of onion juice if desired. At serving time, make a sauce of butter, flour, salt, paprika, stock, and cream. Add the paste and the fish, and when the fish is thoroughly heated, turn down the flame of the lamp, or set the blazer into hot water. Sprinkle with the parsley, and serve. Sardines on Toast Melt two tablespoonfuls of butter in the blazer, add two tablespoonfuls of flour, and a dash of paprika, and stir until smooth and browned a little. Then add half a cup of stock and half a cup of sherry, stir until thickened, then let simmer a few minutes, and add nearly a cup of sardines, from which the bones and skin have been removed and the flesh separated into small pieces. Let stand until very hot. End of section 20《セクション21》of Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties by Janet Mackenzie Hill. Cheese Confections. You must eat no cheese. It breeds melancholy. B. Johnson art thou come why my cheese my digestion troilus and cressida cheese is probably the most popular article served from the chafing dish what possessor of a chafing dish has not concocted a rarebit and the best one ever made were you ever present when the process of evolving a rarebit was in progress and half the guests were not disappointed in the seasoning for perfection in this toothsome dish mustard is demanded by some by others the use of this biting condiment is considered a lapse in culinary taste the consensus of opinion however is in favor of paprika and theoretically matthew williams considers bicarbonate of soda to be demanded not for the sake of seasoning but as an aid to digestion as regards the digestibility of cheese and consequently its adaptability to midnight suppers opinions differ widely Dr. Hoy 
an excellent authority on diet calls cheese a concentrated meat a tissue builder but not itself a tissue and so without waste elements a condensed compact food product and indigestible on account of its very compactness still when the casein or curd is softened and broken up by the addition of liquid and gentle heat it is rendered more digestible and cheese so prepared may be for some if taken with no other nitrogenous food an acceptable and easily digested article of diet welsh rarebit ingredients one tablespoonful of butter one half a pound of cheese cut fine or grated one fourth a teaspoonful of salt a dash of paprika one half a cup of cream the beaten yolks of two eggs method melt the butter add the cheese and seasonings and stir until melted then add the eggs diluted with the cream and stir until smooth and slightly thickened do not allow the mixture to boil at any time in the cooking if necessary cook over hot water serve on thin crackers hot shredded wheat or granose biscuit or on bread toasted on but one side placing the rarebit on the untoasted side welsh rarebit number two ingredients one tablespoonful of butter one half a teaspoonful of cornstarch one half a cup of thin cream one half a pound of mild cheese one fourth a teaspoonful of salt one half a saltspoonful of mustard a few grains of cayenne method melt the butter add to it the cream in which the cornstarch has been stirred let cook two minutes and add the cheese broken into bits stir until the cheese is melted and the mixture perfectly smooth add the salt mustard and paprika and serve at once as above welsh rarebit with ale ingredients one tablespoon of butter generous one half a pound of soft american cheese broken into bits one third a teaspoonful of salt one teaspoonful of mustard a few grains of cayenne one half a cup of ale one egg method put the butter into the chafing dish using the bath when melted add the cheese and ale mix the salt mustard and cayenne add the egg and beat thoroughly when the cheese is melted add the egg mixture and let cook until it thickens serve as before halibut rarebit marinate a cup of cooked halibut flaked with one tablespoonful of olive oil a few drops of onion juice one tablespoonful of lemon juice one fourth a teaspoonful of salt and a dash of paprika make a sauce of two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour one fourth a teaspoonful of salt and half a cup each of chicken stock and cream add two-thirds a cup of grated cheese and the halibut serve as soon as the fish is hot and the cheese melted on the untoasted side of bread toasted on one side oyster rarebit clean and remove the hard muscles from half a pint of oysters parboil the oysters in the chafing dish in their own liquor until their edges curl then remove to a hot bowl put one tablespoonful of butter half a pound of cheese broken in small bits one fourth a teaspoonful each of salt and mustard and a few grains of cayenne into the chafing dish while the cheese is melting beat two eggs slightly add to them the oyster liquor mix this gradually with the melted cheese add the oysters and turn it once over hot toast sardine rarebit melt two tablespoonfuls of butter add half a pound of fresh cheese grated or broken into bits and stir constantly while it melts then add gradually the beaten yolk of an egg diluted with two-thirds a cup of cream stir until smooth and slightly thickened season with a scant half a teaspoonful of paprika one-fourth a teaspoonful of salt and a few drops of tabasco sauce have ready a box of sardines drained broiled carefully and laid on the untoasted side of bread toasted on one side pour the rare bit over the sardines and serve at once golden buck prepare a rarebit in one chafing dish break some eggs into the blazer of another containing salted water just off the boil when the eggs are poached and the rarebit ready place an egg above the rarebit on each slice of toast yorkshire rarebit add two slices of broiled or fried bacon to each service of golden buck mock crab toast melt a tablespoonful of butter in the blazer 
turning it about so as to butter the surface thoroughly put in half a pound of mild cheese grated and stir until the cheese is melted then add the yolks of three eggs beaten and diluted with a tablespoonful of anchovy sauce a teaspoonful of made mustard two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice or vinegar and one-fourth a teaspoonful of paprika stir until smooth serve upon the untoasted side of sippets of bread toasted on one side cheese fondue ingredients one-fourth a pound of cheese broken into bits two tablespoonfuls of butter one tablespoonful of flour one salt spoonful each of soda and mustard three-fourths a cup of milk a few grains of cayenne or paprika one half a cup of stale bread crumbs three eggs method sift the soda mustard and cayenne into the flour and cook in the butter until frothy then add the milk gradually when the sauce boils after all the milk has been added put the blazer into the bath add the crumbs and cheese and cook and stir until the cheese is melted and the mixture becomes smooth add the eggs beaten until light and serve at once english monkey ingredients one cup of milk one egg one tablespoonful of butter one cup of fine bread crumbs from the centre of a stale loaf three-fourths to one whole cup of cheese method melt the butter add the cheese and stir while melting then add the bread crumbs which have been soaked in the milk and the egg lightly beaten end of section twenty one Section 22 of Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. Salads, Sandwiches, and Chafing Dish Dainties by Janet Mackenzie Hill. Eggs. New laid eggs with bosses busy care, turned by a gentle fire and roasted rare dryden scrambled eggs with cheese beat six eggs until whites and yolks are well mixed add half a teaspoonful of salt a dash of paprika and six tablespoonfuls of milk or cream melt two tablespoons full of butter in the blazer pour in the egg mixture and stir and scrape from the blazer as it thickens just before it comes to the proper consistency sprinkle in half a cup of grated parmesan cheese still stirring as before and turn down the flame or set the blazer into the bath american dairy cheese may be used instead of the parmesan scrambled eggs with smoked salmon cook half a cup of smoked salmon cut into thin strips in a tablespoonful of butter three or four minutes then add to the eggs just before the cooking is finished scrambled eggs a la union club heat one can of pimentos sweet red peppers in boiling salted water drain and serve on rounds of buttered toast the pimentos filled with eggs scrambled with mushrooms or truffles pour around the pimentos a pint of well-seasoned brown sauce to which one-third a cup of madeira has been added scrambled eggs with dried beef cut half a pound of dried beef sliced thin into short match-like strips cover with boiling water drain at once and add six eggs beaten slightly and one-fourth a cup of milk put two tablespoonfuls of butter into the blazer when hot add the eggs and other ingredients and stir and cook until the eggs are set scrambled eggs with tomatoes have ready a pint of tomato pulp from which the seeds have been removed seasoned with onion celery or parsley and sweet herbs put a generous tablespoonful of butter into the blazer add the tomato and when hot six eggs slightly beaten half a teaspoonful of salt and half a saltspoonful of pepper stir until the contents are of a creamy consistency serve with brown bread toast eggs and mushrooms a la dauphine ingredients one pint of thick tomato sauce highly seasoned one pint of mushrooms one half a teaspoonful of salt one half a saltspoonful of pepper six eggs method cook the mushrooms in the tomato sauce until tender add the seasoning and the eggs which have been broken into a bowl lift the whites carefully with a silver or wooden fork while cooking until they are set then prick the yolks and let them mix with the tomato whites of the eggs and mushrooms serve quite soft on toast 
scotch woodcock make a cup of white sauce add one tablespoonful of essence of anchovies and five hard-boiled eggs cut into quarters lengthwise eggs a la italienne ingredients five eggs one cup of milk one half a cup of boiled spaghetti chopped one tablespoonful of butter one half a cup of fresh mushrooms sliced one teaspoonful of chopped parsley one scant teaspoonful of salt white pepper method melt the butter in the blazer and saute in it the sliced mushrooms add the milk and spaghetti and when heated thoroughly put the blazer in the bath and add the beaten eggs stir and cook until the eggs have thickened then add the parsley and seasoning and serve at once eggs a la parisienne butter thickly the inner sides of as many dariole moulds as there are individuals to serve then sprinkle them thickly with fine chopped parsley ham or tongue break an egg into each mould taking care not to break the yolk sprinkle over the tops a little salt and pepper and set in the blazer surrounded by hot water to two-thirds the height of the moulds if after a time the water boils even with the lamp turned low put the blazer into the bath and continue cooking until the eggs are set the eggs should be covered while cooking when cooked turn from the moulds and serve with a puree of tomatoes half a cup of sliced mushrooms added to the puree improves this dish curried eggs ingredients six eggs cooked in water just below the boiling point twenty minutes one half a cup of stock fish veal or chicken one half a cup of milk two tablespoonfuls of butter two tablespoonfuls of flour or one teaspoonful of cornstarch half a teaspoonful of curry powder one slice of onion teaspoonful of lemon juice salt and pepper to taste method cook the onion in the butter a few minutes then remove it and add the flour and curry powder when frothy add the milk and stock as soon as the boiling point is reached set the blazer into the hot water pan and add the eggs cut in quarters season with salt and serve on sippets of toast light meats fish oysters and lobsters may be prepared in the same way omitting the half cup of milk in the case of oysters chicken livers may also be prepared by the same recipe in which case the liver should have been cooked previously or they may be sautéed in a little hot butter in one dish while the sauce is made in another sheared eggs butter four or five shearing dishes to half a cup of grated bread crumbs and half a cup of chopped chicken or ham add enough cream to mix to a smooth moist consistency like butter season to taste with salt and pepper put a tablespoonful of the mixture into each dish break in an egg season with a dash of salt and pepper cover with more of the mixture and cook in the same manner as eggs a la parisienne serve in the cups eggs creole style have prepared on a hot serving dish a can of tomatoes stewed until they are reduced to a scant pint and upon the tomatoes rounds of buttered toast for each egg to be served break some eggs one by one into a cup and turn them into the blazer two-thirds filled with hot water turn the flame low and put on the chafing dish cover if the water boils turn down the flame when the eggs are nicely poached remove with a skimmer to the toast pour out the water and melt in the blazer browning if desired two tablespoonfuls of butter add one tablespoonful of lemon juice heat to the boiling point dust the eggs with salt and pepper pour over the sauce and serve egg canapes have ready cooked beforehand four hard-boiled eggs cut them carefully into halves lengthwise remove the yolks and press them through a small sieve soak two anchovies then dry and remove the bones and chop them with two or three cold cooked mushrooms and half a teaspoonful of capers mix in the sifted yolks add a seasoning of salt pepper and paprika and one teaspoonful of tarragon vinegar this work may be done some hours before the time of serving have a little oil or clarified butter in the blazer and saute in it some rounds of bread one for each half of an egg when the bread is of good color on one side turn it and place half an egg the space from which the yolk was taken being filled with the anchovy mixture on the bread cover the blazer and when the second side of the bread is browned nicely and the egg hot serve at once eggs with asparagus ingredients one cup of asparagus peas one cup of asparagus liquor 
two tablespoonfuls of butter two tablespoonfuls of flour one fourth a teaspoonful of salt paprika three or four eggs method cut the asparagus in pieces the size of a pea and cook until tender in cooking reserve the tips until the other pieces are partially cooked or being more tender they will become broken while the others are still uncooked make a sauce of the butter flour salt paprika and water in which the asparagus was cooked or use half a cup of cream in the place of part of the asparagus liquor when the sauce boils add the asparagus and mix lightly with the sauce break the eggs one after another into a cup and slide them carefully on to the top of the asparagus season with a sprinkling of salt and pepper and if desired a grating of nutmeg set the blazer into the bath and put on the cover when the eggs are nicely poached remove the eggs with the asparagus below onto rounds of toasted and buttered bread eggs with spinach prepare in the same manner using for one cup of chopped spinach one-third the quantity of sauce given above if convenient the eggs may be poached in a second dish and in milk water or stock eggs italian style cut six cold hard-boiled eggs into eighths lengthwise add these with a cup of cooked macaroni and half a cup of grated parmesan cheese to two cups of white sauce at the boiling point in the blazer set over hot water add a teaspoonful of onion juice a teaspoonful of chopped parsley salt and anchovy essence to taste and serve very hot end of section twenty two section twenty three of salads sandwiches and chafing dish dainties this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b salads sandwiches and chafing dish dainties by janet mackenzie hill dishes largely vegetarian although the cheer be poor twill fill your stomachs titus andronicus macaroni a la italienne have ready one-fourth a pound of macaroni cooked until tender but not broken in boiling salted water and then drained and rinsed in cold water make a sauce of two tablespoonfuls of butter one tablespoonful of flour one-fourth a teaspoonful each of salt and paprika half a cup of well-seasoned stock and half a cup of well-reduced tomato pulp add the drained macaroni and stir occasionally while it becomes thoroughly heated then add one-fourth a cup of grated parmesan cheese lift the macaroni with a fork and spoon so as to mix thoroughly with the cheese and serve at once strain the tomatoes through a sieve sufficiently fine to keep back the seeds and cook the pulp very slowly until reduced to at least half its bulk a more hearty dish may be served by adding just before the cheese three-fourths a cup of cold tongue cut in thin slices and then stamped into small fanciful shapes with a french cutter or the tongue may be cut simply in small circles asparagus peas scrape the scales from the stalks of asparagus and cut the tender portions into pieces one-fourth an inch long cook in boiling salted water until tender drain and keep the peas hot for three cups of peas make one cup of drawn butter sauce using as liquid the water in which the asparagus was cooked or white stock add the peas to the sauce beat the yolks of two eggs add half a cup of cream and stir into the sauce and peas add also one tablespoonful of butter serve on croutons of fried bread or in cases made of shredded wheat biscuit fresh mushrooms and sweetbreads soak one pair of sweetbreads in cold water cover with boiling salted water and let boil three minutes then simmer twenty minutes cool and cut in small cubes saute in two tablespoonfuls of hot butter sufficient mushroom caps peeled and broken into pieces to make with the sweetbreads two cups and a half make a sauce in the blazer using one-fourth a cup each of butter and flour one cup of chicken stock and half a cup of cream add the sweetbreads and mushrooms one tablespoonful of lemon juice and if desired the yolks of two eggs beaten and diluted with one-fourth a cup of cream or sherry 
serve on toast in patty cases or in cases of shredded wheat biscuit mushroom cromeskies peel the caps of fresh mushrooms wrap each mushroom in a slice of bacon pinning the bacon around the mushroom with a wooden toothpick saute in a hot blazer and serve on toast these are particularly good cooked in a hot oven in a double broiler resting over a baking pan creamed mushrooms wipe carefully half a pound of mushrooms peel the caps and break them in pieces reserve the stems for another dish melt three tablespoonfuls of butter in the blazer and in it saute the mushrooms dust with salt and pepper add two tablespoonfuls of flour and when cooked in the butter one cup of cream gradually stir until the sauce boils let simmer a few minutes then serve with toast or crackers artichokes a la bordelaise mrs e m lucas put one-fourth a cup of butter and half a cup of sifted bread crumbs into the blazer and light the lamp when the crumbs are well moistened with the butter add a teaspoonful of fine minced parsley one pint of cooked artichokes cut into small cubes half a teaspoonful of salt a dash of cayenne and half a pint of rich sweet cream let boil up once and put out the flame add a teaspoonful of lemon juice and half a teaspoonful of the grated rind of a lemon or omit the grated rind stir well and serve at once puff balls sautéed heat three tablespoonfuls of butter or oil in the blazer cut the puff balls in slices half an inch in thickness season with salt and pepper dip in egg and bread crumbs and saute in the blazer to a golden brown mushrooms and macaroni italian style put one tablespoonful of butter and one teaspoonful of lemon juice into the blazer add a dozen peeled mushrooms broken into pieces and blanched and cook slowly covered five or six minutes then add one cup and one-fourth of milk and when scalded stir in two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour creamed together when the sauce boils add one-fourth a pound of macaroni cooked and blanched in the usual manner heat over hot water and just before serving add one-fourth a cup of grated cheese canned peas with egg rinse strain and rinse again in boiling water one can of peas add two tablespoonfuls of butter one teaspoonful of sugar half a teaspoonful of salt and a dash of pepper beat the yolk of an egg dilute with four tablespoonfuls of cream and stir into the peas serve as soon as the egg thickens slightly curried vegetables make a sauce of one-fourth a cup each of butter and flour one tablespoonful of curry powder half a teaspoonful of salt a dash of pepper and a pint of milk add half a teaspoonful of onion juice one cup of cooked peas half a cup each of potato balls turnips cut into cubes or fanciful shapes and carrots cut into straws potatoes a la maitre d'hotel ingredients one pint of potato balls cut with french cutter and cooked tender may be used either hot or cold one cup of milk two tablespoonfuls of butter two yolks of eggs one tablespoonful of lemon juice one tablespoonful of parsley finely chopped one half a teaspoonful of salt a dash of pepper method heat the milk and potatoes in the blazer over hot water cream the butter and add the yolks of the eggs beating them in well add the parsley and seasonings mix thoroughly and when the potatoes are hot and have absorbed part of the milk stir the egg and butter into them add the lemon juice and serve at once white hashed potatoes butter the blazer and put into it about three cups of cold chopped potato salted during the chopping pour over the potato a little hot stock or water and scatter some bits of butter over the top cover and cook slowly without stirring or browning until thoroughly heated string beans a la lyonnaise melt three tablespoonfuls of butter in the blazer add a fine sliced onion and saute to a delicate brown add a quart of string beans cooked a dash of pepper a grating of nutmeg and a little salt heat thoroughly tossing the beans occasionally add a teaspoonful of chopped parsley a tablespoonful of lemon juice and another tablespoonful of butter in bits and serve at once tomato sandwich ingredients six shredded wheat biscuit four medium-sized tomatoes one half a teaspoonful of salt 
eight teaspoonfuls of sugar or eight teaspoonfuls of mayonnaise dressing method peel the tomatoes cut in small pieces add the salt and sugar if used and set aside in a cool place split the biscuits dip the inside lightly into cold water without wetting the outside put the halves together and arrange in a buttered blazer cover and heat over hot water then separate the halves and using a knife dipped in hot water spread with butter put a layer of tomatoes on the bottom half if sugar has not been used add the salad dressing and cover with the top of the biscuit pressing it down lightly cornlet oysters to one cup of cornlet add two well-beaten eggs two tablespoonfuls of flour a scant half teaspoonful of salt and a dash of paprika drop by spoonfuls into a hot well-oiled blazer and cook to a golden brown turn and brown the other side cornlet oysters number two to one can of cornlet add a teaspoonful of soda two well-beaten eggs salt and pepper and enough fine cracker crumbs to hold the mixture together drop from a spoon and cook as above end of section twenty three section twenty four of salads sandwiches and chafing dish dainties this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b salads sandwiches and chafing dish dainties by janet mackenzie hill rechauffes and ola podrida take heed of enemies reconciled and meats twice cooked suggestions concerning rechauffes many of the dishes prepared in the chafing dish are rechauffes of cold cooked meats including game and fish the composition of such dishes is called the flour of cookery but it is well to remember that we are dealing with a class of foods that are more digestible when cooked rare also that in these cases digestibility decreases in proportion to the length of time as well as the number of times the article has been cooked the meat or fish composing such dishes should not come into direct contact with the source of heat after being freed from skin bone and fat they should simply be heated in a hot sauce over hot water corn beef hash spanish style chop together very fine the corned beef and potatoes and a half or a whole green pepper after having removed the seeds and veins put two tablespoonfuls of butter into the blazer over hot water add the chopped ingredients and season to suit the taste adding a little stock or milk to moisten mix thoroughly then cover and stir occasionally until heated through put a few bits of butter here and there over the top and serve when melted use an equal quantity of meat and potato or twice as much potato as meat serve with olives pickles or a light vegetable salad mock terrapin have ready cooked half a calf's liver it may be boiled or braised with vegetables cut it into small cubes put one-fourth a cup of butter into the blazer when colored a little add the cubes of liver dredged with two tablespoonfuls of flour one-fourth a teaspoonful of paprika and half a teaspoonful of salt stir and cook until the flour is blended with the butter then add one cup of water or stock and one teaspoonful of chopped parsley as soon as the sauce boils add one-fourth a cup of cream two hard-boiled eggs chopped fine and one teaspoonful of lemon juice serve on toast with quarters of lemon cut lengthwise note cream may be used in the place of stock and the yolks of two uncooked eggs instead of the cooked eggs spaghetti queen style cut cold cooked chicken or turkey and cooked tongue enough to make one cup of meat in dice cut into inch length pieces cooked spaghetti enough to make one cup put one cup and a half of thin cream into the blazer over hot water and when hot add the meat and spaghetti beat the yolks of two eggs add two tablespoonfuls of cream and stir into the hot mixture add also half a teaspoonful scant of salt and a dash of paprika stir constantly until the mixture thickens slightly then serve at once with toast or crackers 
scrambled a ham and eggs put a tablespoonful of butter in the blazer break six eggs into a bowl add six tablespoonfuls of water and beat until you can take up a spoonful add about a cup of fine chopped ham and mix well pour into the blazer and cook until creamy stirring constantly chicken clops with bechamel sauce ingredients two cups of cold chicken chopped one fourth a teaspoonful of celery pepper one teaspoonful of chopped parsley the unbeaten whites of four eggs one teaspoonful of salt method when ready to cook mix the ingredients together thoroughly and form into round balls place the balls carefully in water just off the boil and in about five minutes or as soon as the egg seems poached remove the clops with the skimmer serve with bechamel sauce ingredients one third a cup of butter one third a cup of flour one cup of cream one cup of chicken stock one half a teaspoonful of salt a dash of paprika the beaten yolks of one or two eggs method make the sauce in the usual manner but do not let it boil after the yolks of the eggs are added minced ham a la poulette to each cup of fine chopped ham add one tablespoonful of fine bread crumbs softened with cream or milk season with salt and pepper heat thoroughly and spread on rounds of moist buttered toast place a poached egg on each slice use two dishes epicurean canapes heat a little butter in the blazer saute in it some narrow strips of bread and spread them thickly with the mixture used for epicurean sandwiches press a pitted olive in the centre of each and serve at once aberdeen sandwiches heat one-fourth a cup of chopped cold tongue or ham and half a cup of chopped veal or chicken with half a cup of good sauce and two tablespoonfuls of curry paste curry powder mixed with just enough water to form a paste let the mixture simmer five minutes stirring constantly then set aside to become cool have some bits of bread prepared as for sandwiches heat some clarified butter in the blazer and in it saute the bread a delicate brown and drain on soft paper spread with the cold mixture press two pieces together and heat over hot water five or ten minutes serve hot calf's head en tortue peel a dozen mushrooms break the caps in pieces and chop the stems very fine saute in three tablespoonfuls of butter adding if desired half an onion cut fine sprinkle in one-fourth a cup of flour half a teaspoonful each of salt and paprika and when the ingredients are well blended add gradually one cup and a half of stock and one-fourth a cup of tomato juice let simmer a few moments after the sauce boils then add one pint of meat from a calf's head cooked and cut in cubes woodcock toast pound to a paste the freshly boiled livers of two fowls ducks preferred one teaspoonful of anchovy paste or one anchovy may be pounded with the livers half a teaspoonful of sugar one tablespoonful of butter one-fourth a teaspoonful of spiced pepper and the yolks of two raw eggs pass through a sieve dilute with a little hot cream from a cup of cream heated over hot water stir and return to the rest of the cream stir until thickened then pour over sippets or rounds of toast sautéed a golden brown in a little butter scotch woodcock beat thoroughly three eggs and three teaspoonfuls of anchovy paste put this into the chafing dish over hot water with three-fourths a cup of milk and stir until thick spread sippets of toast with butter and then with anchovy paste and turn the woodcock upon them calves brains and mushrooms a la poulette saute a clove of garlic cut fine in two tablespoonfuls of butter add half a pound of mushrooms peeled and broken in pieces one-fourth a cup of flour and saute until well browned then add one-fourth a teaspoonful each of mace and paprika half a teaspoonful of salt and one cup and a half of stock and cooked five or six minutes then add the yolks of two eggs one tablespoonful of lemon juice one tablespoonful of chopped parsley and three calves brains cooked and cut in dice serve in timbal cases or upon crustades of bread beef tea in chafing dish cut juicy round steak into pieces about two inches square heat the blazer very hot 
heat also a wooden lemon squeezer in hot water or in any way that is most convenient put the meat into the hot blazer turn again and again with a fork keeping the blazer very hot when the bits of meat are heated throughout squeeze them one by one with the lemon squeezer into a hot bowl season with salt and serve at once salmi of duck or game ingredients pieces of game one third a cup each of butter and flour one tablespoonful each of carrot and onion slices two cups of rich brown stock highly seasoned one fourth a cup of madeira one cup of peas or flageolets cooked method cook the butter onion and carrot in the blazer until well browned skim out the onion and carrot and add the flour pepper and salt add the stock as soon as the sauce is cooked add the madeira the pieces of game and the peas or flageolets serve as soon as the meat is hot salmi of duck number two ingredients one pint of thin slices of duck two tablespoonfuls each of butter and flour one pint of brown stock one tablespoonful of catsup ten or fifteen drops of onion juice one teaspoonful of lemon juice six mushrooms cut in pieces one tablespoonful of currant jelly salt and pepper to taste method brown the butter and make a sauce with the flour seasoning and stock add the duck and mushrooms simmer twenty minutes add the currant jelly and garnish with croutons sweetbreads sautéed split parboiled sweetbreads into two pieces wipe dry sprinkle with salt pepper and flour or season with salt and pepper an egg and bread crumb them sauté in the blazer in hot olive oil or butter until nicely browned on both sides serve with french peas or tomato sauce chicken with mushrooms melt one-fourth a cup of butter in the blazer add six mushroom caps peeled and sliced and cook slowly with a teaspoonful of grated onion about six minutes add two tablespoonfuls of flour stir until smooth then add one cup of cream stock or milk pepper and salt and a few grains of mace when the sauce boils stir in one pint of chicken finely chopped and serve as soon as hot sweetbreads lamb or veal may be served in the same manner chopped beef chop half a pound of raw beef from the tender part of the round very fine rub the bottom of the hot blazer with butter put in the meat with one teaspoonful of grated onion stir and cook four or five minutes add two tablespoonfuls of butter salt and pepper and serve at once this is good with bread but better with baked potatoes a pound of beef may be cooked at one time in a chafing dish of good size and the grated onion increased to suit the taste the juice of which there will be a large quantity may be thickened with flour and butter creamed together but it is better unthickened chicken timbales pass the breast of a raw chicken through a meat chopper five or six times beat in one at a time the whites of two small eggs the whites of the eggs are not to be previously beaten then beat in very gradually one cup of thick cream season with half a teaspoonful of salt and one-fourth a teaspoonful of white pepper turn the mixture into buttered molds set them in the blazer and cook surrounded with hot water to two-thirds their height and covered about twenty minutes the water should not boil if with the flame turned low it still boils set the blazer into the bath in which the water may boil vigorously without harm to the timbales serve with bechamel sauce melt two tablespoons of butter add two tablespoonfuls of flour one fourth a teaspoonful of salt a dash of pepper and half a cup each of chicken stock and cream add the beaten yolk of one egg and let stand over hot water five minutes or mushroom sauce make as above substituting one fourth a cup of mushroom liquor for a part of the chicken stock and adding with the egg half a can of mushrooms or a cup of fresh mushrooms sautéed in two tablespoonfuls of butter supreme of chicken chop fine the breast of a raw chicken beat one egg add the chicken and continue beating until smooth then add three eggs one at a time beating each egg in thoroughly add a generous teaspoonful of salt a saltspoonful of white pepper a dash of black pepper and one pint of cream butter twelve small molds and ornament them with truffles fill with the chicken mixture cover with buttered paper and steam twenty minutes or put in a pan of boiling water and cook in a moderate oven 
till the centers are firm serve with mushroom or bechamel sauce these can be cooked and left in the molds and then reheated it will take about fifteen minutes to reheat egg timbales beat six eggs without separating add a scant teaspoonful of salt a dash of pepper a teaspoonful of chopped parsley twenty drops of onion juice and one cup and a half of rich milk stir till well mixed butter small sized timbal molds and fill two-thirds full with the mixture place molds in the blazer pour boiling water about them three-fourths to the tops of the molds and let cook about twenty minutes or till the centers are firm turn out of the molds on to a warm platter and pour about them a thin bread sauce bread sauce to one pint of milk add half a cup of fine stale bread crumbs a small onion with six cloves stuck in it half a teaspoonful of salt and a few grains of cayenne cook in the double boiler for about an hour stir occasionally remove the onion beat well and add one tablespoonful of butter put one tablespoonful of butter over the fire in a small saucepan when hot add two-thirds a cup of rather coarse bread crumbs stir over a hot fire till they are brown and crisp sprinkle over the timbales and sauce add a sprig of parsley to the top of each timbal pan broiling chops birds venison hamburg sirloin and other steaks even spring chickens may be cooked successfully in the chafing dish but they are not the dishes upon which an amateur should begin his experiments heat the blazer very hot brush over the surface with a brush dipped in olive oil or use a butter ball and a fork lay in the article to be cooked sear upon one side turn and sear upon the other repeat turning and cooking until done to taste five minutes will suffice for small lamb chops serve with maitre d'hotel butter beat four tablespoonfuls of butter to a cream add half a teaspoonful of salt and a few grains of pepper also one tablespoonful of parsley chopped very fine and one tablespoonful of lemon juice very slowly fillets of beef mushroom sauce have half a dozen slices cut crosswise from a neatly trimmed fillet of beef the slices may be cut of any thickness desired but from half to three-fourths an inch is preferable for chafing dish cookery melt two tablespoonfuls of butter in a hot blazer lay in the meat and cook four or five minutes turning every ten seconds the heat should be well maintained throughout the cooking season with salt when half cooked in another blazer make a cup of brown sauce brown two tablespoonfuls of butter add four tablespoonfuls of flour and when this is well browned add half a cup of very rich brown stock and half a cup of liquid from the mushroom can season to taste with kitchen bouquet salt and a few drops of tabasco sauce then add half a bottle of mushrooms cut in halves serve as soon as the mushrooms are hot fillets of lamb cherry sauce for the fillets use either the fillet from the loin or the top of the best end of a loin boned cut the meat in slices or rounds and saute in hot butter in the blazer season with salt and pepper and pour into the blazer half a cup of maraschino cherries with half a cup of the liquid from the bottle candy cherries that have stood half an hour in half a cup of boiling water on the back of the range and then mixed with half a cup of sherry wine may be used in place of the maraschino cherries this sauce may also be used with fillets of beef or young turkey ham timbales ingredients one and one half cups of milk or thin cream one cup of cold cooked ham chopped fine one fourth a cup of fine bread crumbs the yolks of two hard-boiled eggs two raw eggs a few drops of tabasco sauce half a teaspoonful of salt method take the bread crumbs from the centre of a stale loaf pass the cooked yolks of eggs through a sieve add the ham crumbs yolks salt and tabasco to the raw eggs beaten and mixed with the milk when thoroughly mixed turn into timbal moulds very carefully buttered fit papers into the bottoms of the moulds before buttering set these in the blazer surround with hot water letting it come half way to the top of the moulds heat the water to the boiling point then set the blazer into the hot water pan partly filled with boiling water cover and cook until the mixture is firm in the center serve turned from the molds with cream or tomato sauce flavored with onion or with peas heated in a cream sauce fillets of chicken chafing dish style 
remove the breast from a plump and tender chicken and separate from the bone and skin detach the small fillets then cut each side into two or three lengthwise slices the size of the small fillets keep covered closely until ready to cook heat the blazer very hot butter slightly and in it lay the fillets and sprinkle with the juice of half a lemon salt and white pepper add also one-third a cup of chicken stock and a tablespoonful of sherry cover and let cook about ten minutes in the meantime prepare a sauce in a second chafing dish using two tablespoons full each of butter and flour a dash of salt and pepper and one cup of stock in making which a small piece of ham or bacon was used and also a tablespoonful of mushroom or tomato ketchup and a tablespoonful of sherry wine mutton rechauffe creole style melt three tablespoonfuls of butter in the blazer and saute in this a tablespoonful each of green pepper and onion chopped fine add three tablespoonfuls of flour and half a teaspoonful of salt and stir and cook until frothy then add gradually one cup of brown stock and half a cup of tomato puree cooked tomato strain let boil two or three minutes then set over hot water and stir in one cup of cold roast mutton cut in strips or cubes and half a cup of cooked macaroni blanched and drained two or three mushrooms or a tablespoonful of mushroom ketchup improves this dish baba or wine cake this cake may be made some days in advance and when wished reheated in a sauce made in the chafing dish baba is baked in a large mould and cut in slices or in individual cylindrical or baba moulds baba ingredients one pound of flour one cake of compressed yeast one half a cup of water ten ounces of butter one and one quarter cups one fourth a teaspoonful of salt one half a cup of sugar eight eggs one half a cup of currants sultanas or sliced citron method make a sponge of the yeast softened in the water and flour to knead knead the little ball of dough until elastic and put into a small saucepan of lukewarm water meanwhile add the butter sugar salt and three of the eggs to the rest of the flour and beat with the hand until all are evenly blended then add the rest of the eggs one after another when the ball of dough rises to the top of the water and is light remove from the water with a skimmer and beat it into the egg paste beat for some minutes then beat in the fruit turn the mixture into the mould or moulds leaving room for the cake to double in bulk let rise in a temperature of sixty eight degrees fahrenheit when nearly doubled in bulk bake from twenty to fifty minutes sauce for baba let two cups of sugar and one cup of water boil in the blazer about six minutes then add one-fourth a cup or more of maraschino rum or sherry wine lay the baba sliced or in individual forms into the hot syrup and let stand a few minutes basting the cake with the syrup when hot serve with or without whipped cream half a cup of apricot or quince marmalade may be added with the wine fig toast wash carefully and cook in boiling water half a pound of pulled figs until tender add one-fourth a cup of sugar and the grated rind and juice of half a lemon cook until the syrup is well reduced cut the crust from a thick slice of bread and saute to a golden brown first on one side then on the other in two tablespoonfuls of hot butter drain the bread on soft paper then heap the figs upon it cover with two-thirds a cup of thick cream and a scant fourth a cup of sugar beaten until stiff serve at once prunes apricots peaches pears or strawberry preserves may be prepared in the same manner if preserves be used omit the sugar from the cream sponge cake may be used in the place of bread pineapple sponge heat one pint of grated pineapple over hot water sprinkle into it one-third a cup of fine tapioca a quick cooking kind mixed with two-thirds a cup of sugar and half a teaspoonful of salt when the tapioca is transparent add the juice of a lemon and fold in the whites of two eggs beaten until dry serve with cream and sugar tapioca and banana sponge sprinkle half a cup of tapioca and two-thirds a cup of sugar into one pint of boiling water add half a teaspoonful of salt and cook over hot water stirring occasionally when the tapioca is transparent add the juice of two lemons 
and fold in the whites of two eggs beaten until dry serve spread over sliced bananas with cream and sugar or with a cold boiled custard previously made this dish may be prepared with canned peaches apricots or quinces using the juice of the fruit instead of water end of section twenty four end of salads sandwiches and chafing dish dainties by janet mackenzie hill